What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic here. So over the past year, I've been doing a lot of videos on home automation, and one of the questions that I get most often is how do you control your TV using the Amazon Echo? So today I wanna show you exactly what you're gonna need to do that and show you exactly how you do it, so stay tuned. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Amazon Echo Dot review that I did a few months ago. I'll go ahead and post a link for you to check that video out. I actually showed you how I use it to control my TV and a ton of other different things in my house. And recently I also did a home automation guide. And in part three of the home automation guide, I actually showed you how you link the Amazon Echo with the Logitech Harmony Hub. The Logitech Harmony Hub is basically a universal remote, but the hub allows you to use your phone or a remote to control your devices. Now Logitech sells this remote in different variants. They have the hub by itself. They have the Harmony Companion, which is the hub with the remote. And then they have the Logitech Ultimate, which is the hub with an advanced remote. Now, once you get the Logitech Harmony Hub, you do have to set it up. It is a very tedious and can be a long process depending on how many devices you have and how complex your setup is. Now, I did do a review on the Logitech Harmony Hub. I'll post a link for that for you to check that out. That may help you with getting it set up. So once you have all the activities set up and configured, on your Harmony Hub, you're gonna to need to connect the Harmony Hub with the Amazon Echo. All right, so I'm sitting in my family room with the Echo Dot here, and it's actually using a wireless charging dock, um, and I'll actually be reviewing that really soon. But I wanna demonstrate how you control your TV with the Echo. Alexa, turn on the living room TV. Okay. Alexa, turn on MSNBC. Okay. Alexa, tell Harmony to turn up the volume. Okay. In fact, after being briefed on Alexa, tell Harmony to mute. Office of Electricity and make other massive cuts. Okay. Alexa, tell Harmony to turn down the volume by two notches. Okay. Alexa, tell Harmony to unmute. Okay. Man who replaces hand. Alexa, turn off the living room TV. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do in order to link the Amazon Echo with the Harmony Hub. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fire up the Alexa app. And the very first place you're gonna go is to the menu and you're gonna go to skills. So we're gonna be adding the Harmony skills. So this is assuming you've already set up your activities for the Harmony remote. So I'm gonna just type in Harmony. Now notice, you see a red Harmony app, a bluish green one, and then you have Yanomi here, and we'll get to Yanomi in a little bit. But the very first thing we're gonna do is install the original Harmony app, which is gonna be the one that says optimize for smart home. Go ahead and tap on that. We're gonna hit enable, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so once you log in, it's gonna ask you which hub you wanna connect it to. If you have one and it's just only, it's only gonna have one there as an option, and then you're gonna hit next. So you've got your activities here. This is where you, all of your Harmony activities are gonna be listed. Now notice you have friendly names here. So you can actually add friendly names or like almost like an alias for each of your activities. So once you set all those up, you hit next and you're gonna do the exact same thing for TV favorites. So if you haven't already, go ahead and set up some favorites on your Harmony remote and then this will actually be able to access those favorites. So once you give everything a friendly name here and you're done with this, you're gonna hit next again. So you're gonna hit link account here at the bottom and then that's it. All right, so we're gonna go back because we're not done. Go back again, and now we still have the Red Harmony app left. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the Red Harmony app. We're gonna hit enable to enable the skill. We're gonna log in again. It's gonna ask you which hub you wanna connect to. Once you choose the hub, you hit next, and then it's gonna bring you to the screen here for activities. So this is the same exact screen. You're gonna probably have exactly same settings in here anyway. Go ahead and hit next, and you're gonna see your favorites. Same exact thing as the original Harmony. Uh, skill and then you're gonna hit next here again. So the major difference between the way these two apps work is that you're going to have to say Alexa tell Harmony to or ask Harmony to do this or do that. Now, considering you have both of them installed, you don't have to use the tell Harmony to part if you're just turning the TV on or off or turning to a certain station. You can just say Alexa turn on whatever and it'll still work. The only time you really need to use the Alexa tell Harmony to part is 
is if you're gonna do something that the other skill doesn't support. So this skill actually supports turning up and down the volume or muting the TV or pausing or rewinding and fast forwarding. So now that we've done that, we're gonna hit link account. It's successfully linked and then we're gonna discover devices and that's it. So now that part, is, that part is done. If you just wanted to control one hub and you only have one hub, you're done here. Now, if you have multiple hubs, I'm gonna show you how you can control multiple hubs. Now, if you have smart things, it's best to use that instead of using your Nomi. Um, and if you do have smart things, then go ahead and watch part three of the home automation guide because I did go in detail to show you exactly how you can set up multiple hubs in the Alexa app using smart things. But if you don't have smart things, we're gonna use your Nomi. So go ahead and install the Nomi app. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch your Nomi. All right, so we're gonna go to this button here and this is where you're gonna see all of your devices that you have. Now, if you don't have any devices, you can go to the menu, go to accounts and hubs, and this is where you're gonna link all of your devices. So if you hit the plus sign here, you can see there's a bunch of different stuff in here that you can link with Yanomi, and this is pretty awesome. So within the Yanomi app, you can actually make your own separate activities, and those activities are gonna show up in the Alexa app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to this menu option here, the third one, and then you're gonna hit add. And you basically can call the routine whatever you want. You can run whatever actions you want when something happens. And you're gonna hit add action. So your action can be basement, and then it could be start activity. That activity can be whichever one you want. I've got basement TV there. So start basement TV. We're gonna go back over to the Alexa app, and I'm gonna enable that skill, and we're gonna hit connect with Yanomi. So once you connect it with Yanomi and you discover devices, you should see that activity pop up. All right, so there you go. You've got uh, basement TV, which is the Yanomi routine. You can make a turn off basement TV. You can make it do whatever you want, but you get the idea that you're gonna use Yanomi to communicate with those other two hubs. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you wanna be able to control your TV with your Echo, you're gonna need an Echo and a Harmony hub and a lot of patience to set everything up. But once it's set up, it works really nice. I rarely ever pull out my phone or pull out a remote to control my TV. I pretty much walk in the room, say, Alexa, turn on the living room TV, turn on Disney Junior for my daughter, or whatever it is, turns to the channel, and then I can even control the volume now. So that makes it even more reason that I don't have to touch the remote, but it works really, really well. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, as always, mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.